Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's another YouTube exclusive, and I have a certain person back with me again two weeks in a row for predictions. I, however, am your loving leader, benevolent host, and Midwest monster, Troy Adams. And with me today, he is my partner in crime, Kyle. What is up, Kyle? Hello, everybody. Two weeks in a row on the YouTube given predictions. I know, it's been a crazy month or so here for WWE. They're really whipping out these uh, network specials. Oh, yeah, they're whipping it out. Sorry. I... <laughs> Coming in hot. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Well, there is a lot to unpack with this damn show. Whoo! There's some breaking, n well, breaking news, I guess, whatever. It came out a day ago. But I figured I'd share it, or, well, maybe it came out this morning. I'm getting my days, they're all falling in together here. I don't know what the hell is going on anymore. But I don't know if you heard this, Kyle, but... A woman will not be competing on the show, but a woman will be commentating on the show. Renee Young is joining the commentary team for Crown Jewel. Really? Yeah, this is news to me. That's weird. Um, I, I, I don't know if I'd feel safe as uh, Renee Young going over there. But, I don't know. Yeah, I wouldn't... I don't know. I mean, she's... I hope she covers sure, herself Dean, up a lot. I mean, I'm sure she'll have Dean Ambrose with her, so that's always, it's always good to have. Oh, yeah, have the unstable guy with you. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's uh, This has got to be like a thing. Like Vince was like, we'll do the show, but, you know, you got to help us out here and, you know, make it seem like we're doing something. You know, let, let us bring Renee with us. Uh, I don't know. If I were her... Yeah, if this, I were... This whole thing is just a giant mess. Um, yes, it is. Well, I don't know. Is Dean Ambrose going to... Is he... He's not on the show. So no. I don't know if he's even going. I mean, if I were him, I'd want to go if my wife was going, just to, you know, watch out for her. But, yeah, you know... If I was him, I'd be sitting right there in the front row, like right behind me at the announce table, like... Yeah, I don't think he's going to be allowed to do that, but yeah. Uh I'd be there. That's for that's for damn sure. Let's uh let's kind of unpack some of this stuff here. Uh big news as far as Daniel Bryan and John Cena both said we are not going to Saudi Arabia. Screw that. Greg and I covered it earlier in the podcast uh or that came out uh I I don't know uh, this this video it might get posted Wednesday or Thursday, not sure yet. Kind of depends on my schedule. So either way, the the podcast that came out on on uh, Wednesday, which uh, you should definitely go check that out. But we covered it on there, and uh, they have been replaced. There will still be a WWE title match. It will not be Daniel Bryan. They kind of scrambled to replace him. So they had AJ Styles versus Daniel Bryan in a random ass match on SmackDown. <laughs> yeah, that was great. They kicked off SmackDown, and I, it seemed like it was it seemed like WWE was saying, "You know what? Screw you, Saudi Arabia. We're still going to have this match, but you're not going to get to see it, at least not in person." <laughs> it all, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just I was like, I don't know. It seems so. It is, but it was like so rushed. I don't know. They had to try to make it somewhat explainable in storyline, I guess. Uh, I thought they were going to do like an injury angle to Daniel Bryan. Or that's something. what I like, thought. Oh, well, he, he was attacked on SmackDown. He ain't going to be able to make it to Crown Jewel. But, right. Oh, they just threw the match together. Um, I wasn't complaining about it. So, yeah, yeah it was random, but. Yeah. Well, uh, Daniel's clearly not getting the WWE title. But whatever. I didn't expect him to win anyway. No. The other one. I am, kind of, I am surprised that they had like a clean finish to it. I really thought there'd be an interference in the match. Yeah, turn out, but... I wish, but nope. Clean finish, clean as a whistle, and he tapped out to the calf crusher, and then Samoa Joe came out, beat the hell out of both of them, and posed with the title. And I'll AJ was like, he went up the page, and oh, I, I want a match against Samoa Joe again. Like, they've already wrestled in Saudi Arabia, didn't they? Oh, no, I'm sorry, that was Shinsuke. 
He wrestled Joe yeah. in Australia, right? Yes. Okay, I'm I'm getting my novelty shows mixed up here. But yeah, so he just loves wrestling Samoa Joe, not in America. <laughs> I I know they've they've wrestled in America. I'm I'm just joking, but anyway, I'm being facetious here. But so that's how that uh, got wrapped up. John Cena, his was a little less explained. Baron Corbin, uh, after Bobby Lashley, he didn't win. He uh, Leo Rush, he faced Finn Balor on Raw. Leo Rush got involved. They beat the hell out of Finn Balor, and uh, Bobby got DQ'd. Uh, we'll talk about something involving Bobby Lashley here in a second, by the way. But uh, yeah, and then they go back to talk to Baron Corbin, and Baron's like, oh, I, I admire what you did, Bobby, so you're replacing John Cena in the World Cup. Like, uh, why? I mean, we know why, but why? <laughs> you know, like kayfabe. Yeah, and they gave, like, no explanation. It's just like, eh, we don't want Cena there. We, you know, we'd rather have Lashley. Like, like, okay. Yeah, and... Yeah, let's just- like, I, I I realize he's a big, sweaty man and whatever, but, like, none of the McMahons would have, like, if this was real, none of the McMahons would have stood up and been like, uh, uh no, you, you can't do that. Like, no, they're just going to let it happen, whatever. Yeah. Sure, that's comparable. Sure, uh, let's go with that. Yeah. Uh, I wonder, I one thing I am curious about, I'm wondering if Leo Rush is going to be on the, like, doing his mic gimmick at the show or if they're going to kind of tone it down a little bit. I don't know. If we have to suffer through it, they need to suffer through it. That's how I look at it. Oh, hell yeah, they do, but I don't know. <laughs> I saw somebody online complaining about, oh, Leo Rush is so annoying. I'm like, then he's doing his job. That's what he's exactly. supposed he's to do. Heel. He's a heel. I mean, he was he was annoying before they officially turned both of them heel. But still, <laughs> yeah. Like, you know he's dating a British model? Really? She's gorgeous. But yeah, it's uh, it's funny. She wears his t-shirts all the time, too. It's funny. She, the thing is, I think she's a little taller than he is. It's it's hilarious. But anyway, we, uh, we, <laughs> let's, let's dive into this, this card here and unpack this, uh, this, this show. Uh, we've got, uh, let's get into the World Cup uh, and make some predictions here. Seth Rollins will take on Bobby Lashley in round one. A lot of mixed match Ugh. stuff here. Don't get me wrong. All these matches are either we have never seen them before or we've only seen yeah. them or we haven't seen them in a while. So I don't mind it. Uh, switching it up a little bit. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, but, it's uh, better than... Just repeating the same matches on Raw and SmackDown every single week. Yeah, because if it was like if I had to call the like, the order of like who's gonna face who, I'd say like uh probably Seth Rollins versus Dolph Ziggler, Kurt Angle versus Bobby Lashley, and then like the other two were you know fine I guess. But yeah, I like this order because it's switching it up. It's not what you'd ex- expect. But Seth Rollins takes on Bobby Lashley. In the quarterfinals, who you calling for that one? Uh, um, I'm gonna say Rollins. Yeah, uh, I, I don't know. They love big sweaty men over in Saudi Arabia, apparently. But we're getting a big sweaty champion at the end of the night. So I'm gonna say Seth Rollins wins this one. Next up, uh, and, and Bobby Lashley is the only one in this tournament that's a big sweaty man. Think about that. Yeah. That's... I mean, don't get me wrong. The other guys are sweaty, but they're not as <laughs> big and just, oh, look at the muscles rippling. But anyway, that's my Vince McMahon-ism for the day. Kurt Angle takes on Dolph Ziggler. <laughs> I I would think this one's fairly obvious, but, I, I mean, you know, anything anything can happen in the WWE, pal. What do you... Um, I'm going to say Ziggler. Oh, wow. Wow. You think they're going to have Dolph go over Kurt? I mean, Stranger I Things, I guess, but... I don't know. This is this whole World Cup thing is so hard to predict, so I'm just kind of throwing it out there. 
me. Uh, I'm going to call Kurt because I think I, I, I'm going to call next one here. I'll, I'll just do this one so I can get my next prediction over with. Uh, Rey Mysterio takes on Randy Orton. Who you got? Um, Orton. Yeah, I'm going to say Orton because, I mean, don't get me wrong, either one of these matches could be great because we've seen both in the past and both are great, uh, but I think they're going to set it up for Kurt versus Randy. However, okay. they could set it up for Kurt versus Ray, which would be a SummerSlam 2002 rematch, and I wouldn't mind seeing that. But, yeah, I think it's going to be Kurt versus Randy. Either one, I'd be satisfied with seeing, so... Hell yeah. Uh, and then next we got uh, the last semifinals, or excuse me, quarterfinals match we got here. Jeff Hardy versus Le Miz. Uh, let's say Miz, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm going to say Miz because I think that's going to set up for Rollins versus Miz. Uh, I think they're going to try to keep the heel face dynamic going on through the tournament. Yeah. Uh, there was a bit of a spec or not or a, not speculation, well, a stipulation uh, thrown into this whole thing by Shane McMahon on SmackDown, saying if um, whoever it, you know we get down to the finals, this will be a Raw guy versus a SmackDown guy. If the uh, SmackDown guy loses, they will be fired and basically switched over to Raw. Damn. Uh, you're gonna be. You're going to be fired from this show and go to the show that gets more attention. Well, I mean, <laughs> well, I mean, they, they didn't they didn't say that part. So they're going to go to Raw, but we all know that's what will happen. So yeah, because nobody can ever just be fired. Like it takes away all no. the realism. I, just what what the hell ever. Anyway, uh, I'm not going to call because, like, obviously we're not going to know the order per se. So let's not predict. You know the next rounds. However. Who do you think is going to win the whole shebang? Um, I've had this suspicion that Miz is going to for some reason. You know, I wouldn't mind that. Uh, but <laughs> as, as weird as this is, because they're going to be in Saudi Arabia and not America, uh, I'm going to say Kurt Angle wins the whole thing. That just, would be cool. Just kind of like a feel-good, like, you know... A wink and a nod to America. It's like, look, I know we're doing the show and you don't want us to, but America. That's right. <laughs> and nobody's going to care. But no, I mean, they're, they'll care because of Kurt Angle, but they're still going to be mad at WWE. I'm still mad at WWE. I would also, I don't know. Here's, here's my order of who I think is going to win uh, the, the cup. Like, I, I say, Kurt Angle is my prediction to win the whole thing. Uh, followed by probably Seth Rollins, Rey Mysterio, and Randy Orton. Like, in that order. I don't know. But e either way. Mm. Yeah. Uh, next, we got the SmackDown tag titles on the line. We still don't know what the hell is going on with the Raw ones. We got The Bar with Big Show versus The New Day. Uh, I loved how Sheamus came out even whiter for his Halloween costume. I didn't think that was possible, but yeah. Yeah, right. Uh, Cesaro and Big Show did not get into the festive mood, and the New Day came out dressed as the Brood. That was yeah, but, awesome and hilarious. Yeah, they even used their entrance, their entrance music and everything. Like this was, which is some of the best music I feel Jim Johnson ever made. I love the Brood yeah. theme. Uh, but yeah, that was. That was great. I loved it. I marked. And they even used the blood, like sp spitting the blood in the face to get the win over Cesaro. And both Big E and Cesaro took bumps into the jack-o'-lanterns. That was crazy. Mm -hmm. That was that was awesome. I loved it. Couldn't have felt too good, but you know, it was it was cool. They gimmicked them up, pal, by by, you know, carving out the innards. But uh who you calling here with the bar defending against Le New Day? I'm going to say the bar. I just don't see many title changes, if any, at this show. Well, we're going to see one new champion. That's uh, assured. But yeah. Um, I'm also going to see the bar, or, or call the bar. 
uh, because I think Big Show is going to be the X factor that really helps him win. Yes, I can definitely see that. It's kind of a, now that they have like a three on three situation. To, right. To, they always talk about the new day. Oh, the new day with the numbers advantage. Well, that's no longer a thing now with the, in this feud at least. Right. Well, let's get to, uh, oh man, the oldest match on the card. Uh, with a, it is D Generation X versus the Brothers of Destruction, Triple H, Shawn Michaels, The Undertaker, and Kane for a total combined age of 205 years. <laughs> I saw that online somewhere and I, I, wow. I laughed. I LOL'd. But yeah, so DX got kind of the last laugh on Raw when uh, Triple H came out. He signaled for Sean. No Sean. He acts like he's going to the back to check, and Kane gets out of the ring, and Sean slips in. Sweet Chin Music's The Undertaker and leaves, and then Undertaker sits up, and uh, yeah. Oh, man, this is like the second setup match because you know this isn't the blow-off. There's going to be something after this, and everybody's guessing it's going to be Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels 3 at WrestleMania. Which I definitely think that's the direction they're going, and, you know, I'm looking forward to it if that is what they, in fact, do. Yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, Shawn still looks weird as hell bald, but, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, I'm kind of... Really surprised by that. But. I hope he grows his hair back. I, ugh. I mean, not necessarily the long hair. He's fine with the short hair. Just not bald, dude. Come on. Ugh. You know, ugh. I still don't know like, ugh. why he did bald. it. I thought I didn't. I didn't know if he was. At first, I thought maybe he was filming a movie and his character is bald, but or maybe he just decided hell with it. I'm gonna just shave it all off and see how it goes. I don't. I think he feels bald is beautiful. I don't know. Uh, maybe, I mean, he was thinning a little bit on top, but I don't think it was enough to shave the whole damn thing off. I don't know. I His his wife needs to talk some sense into him because he looks like a dirty mechanic. That's all I got to say. <laughs> he goes from the sexy boy to the uh, can I change your oil guy. Wow. Sorry, I I went there. Stole the greatest of all, or one of the greatest of all time. But anyway, I don't know. I That's the hill I'm going to die on, I think, because while I'm a huge Sean fan, I think he's a very, very close second to Ric Flair, but that's just me. I don't know. I don't think there's a better in, in-ring performer in the history for the business than Shawn Michaels, but that's just me, I think. Yeah, a lot of people... That's always the dispute. Is it Rick 1, Sean 2, or Sean 1, Rick 2? I go Rick 1, but, I mean, that's just me. I, I, don't get me wrong. Shawn Michaels, I'm a huge, huge mark for Shawn Michaels. Uh, I'm not putting Bret Hart in there only because he didn't have the, the, the mic skills and the charisma that the other two had, or the longevity. And that's not his fault. He got kicked no. in the head by uh, a certain Berg that is gold. But that's beside the point. Either way, predictions for this match. Who uh, who you got? Um, well, let's see here. At Super Showdown, it was uh, Triple H Don't going over on Undertaker. That. Don't remind me. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna say the I'm gonna say the brothers of destruction. Even this one up here and and uh, take this one. And one of the things that really surprises me about this match, is that, well, at least the build towards it. You would think they'd be making a bigger deal about Shawn Michaels coming out of retirement. Yeah, I mean, they're I don't not know. They're really putting a lot of emphasis on that. They're putting more emphasis on the fact that DX is back together. Like, yeah, who cares? Which Whatever. Is, which is cool, but I mean, yeah, it is. Shawn Michaels getting. I don't think he's wrestled since. I think I was still in high school the last time he wrestled. Was what, the twenty ten? Mm, something like that. Whenever WrestleMania. I want to say 25 or 26. 26. 26. 26. Yeah. yeah. So that was uh, nine years ago. S- you know, something like that. So, yeah, almost. I, I was out of high school. I was in college. But, uh, yeah, so it, it's been a while. 
close to a decade he's kept his promise. But, you know, retirement in wrestling never means retirement. Always remember that. Retirement just means, in wrestling, it just means I'm going to go away for a little bit, but I'll be back sometime. I don't know when, but it'll... Right, yeah. Uh, I'm also going to say Brothers of Destruction. I'm going to say Taker gets the win because Kane is useless. He's he's a potted plant. That's what he is. He's there. He's a warm body. Uh, but yeah, I, I love. I think Triple H is going to eat the pin because they got to keep Sean special, you know. And one thing I love that I could, I think it was you know last week before that that promo the DX cut when Triple H said you know everybody keeps saying oh we're older well I guess older means better like. Triple H found a new way to bury the to bury the younger talent on the roster now and put it on the mic this time. Yeah, it's like no, it means slower. Don't get me wrong, I still think Sean can work circles around most of the guys uh, on the roster because he's Sean freaking Michaels. Triple H, great worker in his day. He's still pretty decent, but he's a lot slower. And Taker and Kane are, you know, what they are. They're nowhere near what they once were, but they're they're good. Speaking of Undertaker and coming out of the retirement, uh, we didn't cover this on the podcast. Sting has said that the only way he will come out of retirement is for a WrestleMania match against Undertaker. Well, uh, I, I don't know if I, he's I, didn't even... I don't know if he specified Mania, but he said for a match against Undertaker. I didn't even think he was physically able to have another match. I thought his neck was just. No, not after that match with Rollins. No, I mean he hurt himself fairly, you know, good. But I no, he can he can go. Uh, he just has to kind of take it a little easy. He's he's in very good shape for his age. Uh, I think it was yeah. all the bodybuilding he did for years. But yeah, he he's in very good shape. Uh, he got a little messed up, but I I think he's okay. He's like his neck is not great, but he's not like you know. Oh man, if you if you take a bad bump, you're you're done. You know, so he he can go. But man, oh god, I would love to see. I realize they're older and slower, but that's the characters. dream. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like all they have to do is the damn entrance and hit a couple moves. That's all we want. They don't have to go have a five star classic. That's not what we want. I still don't understand why we didn't get that at WrestleMania 31. Everything was in, like everything was together. They were both Cause, in WWE. Because Triple H had to poop on WCW one more time, man. He had to do it. Burial, brother. And if Greg's listening, he's getting pissed. But <laughs> <laughs> that's just, I, I don't know. It's just the, the way it seems. Booker T, Scott Steiner, Kevin Nash. Uh... Sting, I, I mean, I think he beat Hulk Hogan. I can't remember. I, it doesn't matter. I don't consider Hulk a WCW guy per se anyway, but he'll be on this show, by the way, uh, according to rumor and innuendo, because he said on Twitter that he couldn't wait to go to Saudi Arabia. Mm. Well, he didn't specifically say crown jewel. So yeah, but why the hell would he just? Why the hell would he randomly go to Saudi Arabia? And who says I'm in, in for vacation? Age, who says, and in this day and age, uh, especially recently, like who's good? Like who says, yeah, I'm really looking forward to going to Saudi Arabia. Hulk Hogan, who is known for opening mouth and inserting foot. <laughs> yeah. Bless his little heart. Anyway, uh, last two matches on the card here. Let's wrap this up are the big title matches. Uh, This first one will most definitely be in the middle of the show. There's no way it's not going to be, because it always is. It's AJ Styles defending the WWE title against Samoa Joe. It seems fairly obvious to me who's going to (sighs) win, which is sad. I mean, don't get me wrong. AJ winning is never a bad thing. But this guy losing over and over is, uh, yeah. I just, I, I feel anyway that it's obvious. Who, who you calling here? Yeah, I'm, I'm right there with you. I'm saying AJ Styles. And one thing I've kind of, yeah. one thing I've kind of noticed about Samoa Joe, he's been hurt quite a bit. 
Mm, if you ever notice, yeah. like, he, like he's been, he's been out on, with injury quite a bit, and, and I'm guessing that has to do like that's a lot of the reason why he never really gets a big win, or he hasn't gotten into a WWE title yet. Yeah, it's kind of sad. He seems ever since he came to WWE, he seems injury prone, and it's not a good look for him, man. I think it's because he's older, and you know, and his style and everything. It just I think his knees are kind of messed up. I don't know, but yeah, I, I'm I'm calling Styles. Uh, I mean, there might be some shenanigans, but there were shenanigans last time Styles was in Saudi Arabia. So what are they going to set up for AJ Joe twenty? Like, I guess they could, but why? You're not going to have him win. Uh, last match. You know it's going to close the show. It's the mm-hmm. big sweaty men match for the vacant WWE Universal Championship. Man, it's been a while since Vacant hold that held that title, but you know he's champion twice. He's a, he's a, the first ever two time Universal Champion, I believe. How is this guy not in the Hall of Fame yet? Is what I want to know. I don't know. He's held every title at least once. Uh, he's even the women's titles, which I, it's just it's it's crazy. Yeah, I mean, how many guys can say that? None. That's who. But all right, uh, Brock Lesnar takes on Braun Strowman. Oh man, this um, this I I don't know if this is gonna be fun or brutal to watch. I don't think it's gonna last very long. I'll say that Brock doesn't get paid by the hour. <laughs> and uh, like it, like I said. Uh, Saudi Arabia loves them some big sweaty ass men. So, who you calling here? You know, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna make a bold prediction here. Um, I think Vankins is gonna walk out as the Universal Champion. Oof. I'm gonna say that Drew McIntyre gets involved in the match thrown out hmm. because you look at this show, so much controversy surrounding it. And I don't think WWE wants to have a big, uh, you know, significant moment of either, you know, Strowman or Lesnar becoming Universal Champion, you know, in, you know, at this show. Just given all the controversy surrounding it, I think they just want to get through this show, hmm. you know, not have anything significant happen. And I think we're going to have, have either a rematch between Brock and Braun at Survivor Series or a tournament or something. But I did not see anybody becoming champion at this show. That is an option I didn't really think about. But uh, now that you say it out loud, sounds fairly plausible. Uh, if I had to absolutely call a winner, um, if they're going to have somebody win, I'm going to say Braun. I have heard rumors that they might put it on Brock and have him go away again because they Please, no. want to put the focus on the Intercontinental title, which I don't know why they can't just put more focus on the Intercontinental title. Why do you have to bury one belt to elevate another? Makes no sense. Learn how to write. Just, oh, yeah, really? gosh. But anyway, uh, I, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm going to call Braun, but you're probably right. Uh, and if you're right, I will not be disappointed because I hope that sets up for a triple threat and Drew becomes the WWE champion because that's what I really, really want. Gosh, I love Drew McIntyre. I've always loved Drew McIntyre. Marry me, you big bastard. I propose. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm just kidding. Uh, but I do love Drew McIntyre. Yeah, I, hope, I hope your wife doesn't hear that. <laughs> Yeah, whatever. She, she's like, so you love big, sweaty Scotsman. Nice. <laughs> I myself am a little sweaty Scotsman. So there's that. <laughs> Fourth Scottish, whatever. Uh, but yeah, so that is that. That is the uh, the card bra for, uh, for Crown Jewel. On the cover of the the, uh, the the promo poster, we've got the Brothers of Destruction and uh, DX. Man, uh, 
They're still saying it's going to take place at the King Saud University Stadium, which is a smaller venue than they uh, than it happened uh, at before. It's at Riyadh University. So there's that. And I love how every time they advertise a show, they make no mention that it's going to take place in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, like they, they don't know what it is, but they don't even want to. They kept bringing that up on the uh, on the or on uh, Twitter. They were like, "Where is it taking place?" Like, huh? Come on, WWE. Where? Tell me. But they will not say the words Saudi Arabia. Uh, it's just like so much crap that like so many hoops are jumping through to make this acceptable, especially with the announcement of uh, Renee Young being on the commentary team is is hilarious. The capacity, by the way, is uh, 25,000 for that stadium, whereas what was the other one like 50,000 or something like that? Something like that. Yeah, it was a much bigger uh place they had the greatest Royal Rumble out, so. Yeah. Uh, what was it? King Salman uh, Stadium or something like that. I don't I don't even remember oh, what the hell the uh, the thing was called now. Uh, King Salman Sports City Stadium I, I, I believe was the last one. Uh, that one uh, I, I believe, I want to say well, no, that's not it, because it, it says capacity 7,000 for that one. I I forget. Either way. Yeah. Something like that. But it, it, it was a bigger venue. Let's just let's just get through this. Like, just, just, just pull off the Band-Aid, man. Get it, get it over with. A lot of people online are saying they're not going to watch. I don't believe them. I think they're full of crap. Yeah, yeah they're the same people that said they're going to cancel their network subscription after them. After every bad pay per view they see, and they're never gonna watch again. And then the very next night they're watching Raw. So I mean, every pay per view to these idiots is bad. So whatever. Yeah. If you're actually not watching this pay per view and you won't watch it ever, period. Like, good for you, I guess. I don't really care. None I of mean, us care. <laughs> you're not really hurting them anyway by not doing that. You know, by no. not watching it. So yeah, it's you. Just, I don't think WWE cares one bit if you watch it or not. They're still getting paid. They have your money for the subscription to the network. They have uh, the Saudis' money. They're they're fine. Yeah. But anyway, that's uh, I guess that's what we're going to close on here. Uh, as always, definitely, uh, and I'll repeat it again. I'm a closer here, but uh, well, for, first, what are, what are all of your predictions? Uh, let, let us know comment section down below we'd love to hear from you we want to interact with the the listeners when you join the society and you know uh really let us know if you don't do it on here we have you know our social media there's facebook twitter instagram definitely go there that is in the description down below if you want to know the uh the handles to all that and of course in the description down below we've always got the links to various ways you can listen to the podcast either on Wooshka, which is our home, or you can listen to it um, as or, uh, you can listen to it on uh, iTunes, which is what I usually use. Google Play, Spotify. Uh, we don't have the links to Stitcher and TuneIn, but it is on there. Uh, you know, or av- available on there. I'm trying to keep up with the archives on YouTube. It's uh, there's a lot of content. All right, and I'm doing it solo, so bear with me. So, uh, yeah, definitely go check out the podcast. There's a lot of great content on there. And check out our watch-alongs this week and all that. Uh, good stuff. And the, and, and the lists, bro. Oh, man, lots, lots of stuff going on. But like, subscribe, tick the little bell to be notified, all that good stuff. Thank you for joining me today, Kyle. Not a problem. And we will come at you next week with the fallout. From Crown Jewel. Later! Thanks for watching this YouTube exclusive video for the podcast Wrestling Society. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons if you're picking up what we're throwing down. And of course, we always welcome feedback in the comments section down below. And if you want to keep up with the weekly podcast that drops every Wednesday, links to the show page are in the description down below, along with our social media handles and our associates pages. Come on and join the society.